Since knockout keep track of any changes in your observable properties, let's my second friend's favorite uh, library is uh, Angular and third friend's favorite library is Backbone. Now, how will we read these values? How we will get of the latest value and save it to the database? The way we can read it, say for example, we know the collection of the friends inside the objects and we will read the first object's favorite library. So that's how we'll get it. But that's not what it shows in the UI. It's a lot of code here because knockout makes the property observable and you have to read this property like as a method. So if you put parentheses after it, you will get the property. So it becomes again harder whether you have to read every property like this method. No, you don't have to. The mapping plugin will make your life easier. So we will have the mapping plugin have some extra method called to js or to json so if you pass anything say like object dot all the friends to this guy it will convert all of your object to a json you can pass it to the server side and save it to the database and you can call this to to js method and it will convert to javascript object if you want to manipulate and do something and it doesn't have anything like observable it's a plain javascript object that's how mapping plugin makes your life much easier now you can have extended lunch break and have a date with a beautiful girl the mapping plugin is very helpful and has a lot of features for advanced usage. For example, if you want to ignore some of the property of the object, you can simply call this ignore and then you'll get rid of some of the properties you don't want. You can include some, you can observe especially. And if you have a collection of objects, you can have some extra thing you need to like remove all index of and this becomes very handy when you are using some older browser like i8 